Firstly, let me start by congratulating all of you, the school staff and everybody on your 30th Founders Day and uh, all the achievers who've been on the stage before, congratulations. When, when I attend such occasions, events, I go back in time to those good old school days, enjoying those annual days where I get an opportunity to even put up a dance show which I just saw, the first uh, program. I've been a classical dancer for eight years. Unfortunately, I couldn't pursue that because of cricket, but here I should thank the school for giving me an opportunity to, to enjoy that dance. And um, when, when, uh, when amongst students and an atmosphere like school, I do feel the gratitude for my school, my old school, which has played an important role I started playing cricket when I was in school. Pursuing dance and cricket was very, very difficult for a school-going girl. If not for the support of the school and the teachers, I probably wouldn't have encashed on all those opportunities which came years back. And I was also having a conversation with Principal Ma'am about it and how the school has helped uh, support all those students who have got into sports. When I got uh, to read the profile of the school, I, I did mention to her that I was very impressive to see so many students who've participated in different school games in different disciplines, clearly reflects how the school's support system is towards the students, just not in pursuing academics, but also sports. And I, I, ho I really hope that some of them really make it big in that field from the school and get named to your state to country, of course, and to, to all your teachers. And while my uh, interaction with the teachers and going around in that exhibition at display, a uh, couple of things crossed my mind, and it is in its own way a revolution, I must admit, about having this meditation between, your, between the classes. One of the students told me about it, which I have not come across in any, any school. And um, in today's time, we, we do speak a lot about mental health, clarity of mind. I find it very difficult to meditate. I've tried my hand at meditation, but uh, I think it's, it's a great, great idea to start young. And I'm sure the, the students do get a great deal of clarity. And while I was also thinking about how to uh, you know, address you all. I'm, I'm a sports person, so clearly I don't have a formal way of giving speech. I talk from my heart. And my only suggestion or advice to all your students is success and failure, it's, it's a loop. When you succeed, you also fail. And that has to be accepted. Uh, I've failed many times before I could succeed. I'm, I'm sure many of the top elite athletes would tell you that. Um, but what keeps us going and being resilient is our strong basics, fundamentals, principles. Uh, when you pass out of school, you have a vast horizon where many opportunities will come your way. But if you have a strong principle, you'll be able to have good stability of thought and clear mind to make your choices. And you will sustain and you'll go a long way in navigating the good and bad times that life has to throw at all of us. We have very different journeys, very individual journeys, but if you have strong fundamentals, which again comes from your school, your teachers who teach you, because this is the nurturing ground. And when you become big in, in whatever career that you choose to do, remember the important things that have been taught to you at very young age through your school days. That is what has helped me all through my life. Uh, yes, I've come a long way, but um, I think I never forget the, the role that my teachers and my school has played in my career. And events like this actually make, makes me nostalgic about thinking about all those teachers who helped me, despite being the student who misses out on school many times, never really attended school was very behind in homework, which my mother used to 
um, uh, finish it for me, yes. I've dozed off to sleep in the first bench. I was a first bencher, by the way. And I would end up in the back bench to get some sleep because I used to train in the morning, finish school and train again and then go back home. So clearly the, the regimen was very, very strict. For, for the teachers, for the students, the way you've supported uh, your students and giving them the, the right uh, advice, suggestions through your teaching will definitely help them. And uh, I've been very impressive with the way that you have, uh, I've seen that how your students uh, have shown in the exhibition. It, it, it basically is the reflection of your teachings and to the parents. Of course, I'm not a parent, so I really don't have an advice to you all, but I would only suggest that to be the strongest support system to your children and help them to just not when they are successful, but be there when, when they go through difficult times. That's when, as parents, it is more important for you to guide them. Your guidance will go a long way and give equal opportunities to girls as well, because I'm a great advocate of giving equal opportunities for all. And, um, and I hope that you all be able to do that. With this, uh, I would like to end my speech, but it's been an absolute honor to be here and uh, interact with the students there. That's one of my uh, good memories that I will carry from this event. Thank you.